Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellas sent you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. Bob Aram said that um, Miguel Pachet wants to cure Stevenson, but let's start off with him saying that. Um, that Miguel Prochet is on a fight by fight deal with Top Rank. Uh, check out our boxing news playlist. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. You um, know, I'm not surprised. I knew he was with Zafner. Um, Zami was uh, Jaime was with Zafner. And Zafner got a nice little talent, and basically, you know, they like a little imprint, <laughs> uh, promotional company, and they got to work with bigger promotional companies to make their uh, fighters international stars. Um, Zafner got Nervetes as well too. So Zafner got some talent across the land. Uh, I think um, they might have a few more fighters out there. I could be mad. I could be wrong. Um, but when you look at Zafner, they kind of kind of remind you of a smaller version of Samson Tulawiski. If Tulawiski wasn't with um, Al Heyman, I think Samson Tulawiski is the one that brought, if I'm not mistaken, helped bring Manny Pacquiao over. I mean, he got David Menembe. He's he Sergio Martinez. He found. So he got a hell of an eye for talent, okay? And, um, you know, some people want to wonder if, you know, with him being on the fight by fight deal with Bob Aaron try to screw him versus Oscar Valdez. And my thing is, you know, if my thing is, I don't think so. Because most people think this fight going to end in a stoppage because Oscar Valdez has so many wars. But with Miguel Prochet saying that he want to fight Shakur Stevenson, that's the most, that's the most, the biggest fight that he want. I don't think they're gonna screw him, you know. But I think if it's close, they probably gonna get an edge to Oscar Valdez. To be honest, he the house fighter. He been on top rank for a long time. Um, and maybe Bob is thinking like maybe he gonna cash Oscar Valdez out, you know, fighter that you know obviously they let him go in there and fight Scott Quigg when he was overweight, took a lot of punishment there. The Genesis dude, he took a punishment there. He took a lot of punishment, you know. And Valdez tried to he Mexican. And he tried to fight for the fans. But he done been in so many wars, dropped and hurt and fucked. He should be fighting in a hit, hit and not get hit manner. And to be honest, he got all the ability in the world to 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 have good defense. But he was on Max on Boxing yesterday and said, you know, basically he want to get the fans a good fight. So he's going to go in there and make it a war. And if he make it a war, he's not going to last long. Some people saying three rounds, four rounds, five rounds, six rounds, seven rounds. I don't know how long he's going to last. But we know he ain't gonna make it last forever and ever. No. He ain't gonna last forever in there. You know, but you know, it's a he a guy you wanna pull for. Seem like a nice guy. Explosive, you know. At one twenty six, um, I think he wanted to fight he was he said that he wanted to fight Regendahl after he left top rank, but Bob Aram, you know, shuts him up. And you wanna see him win. I like to see him versus Leo Santa Cruz at one point or Gary Russell, but that didn't work, but you know, it's going to be a hell of a fight tonight. Looking forward to it. That's going to be on the West Coast. Adrian Brunner going to be on the East Coast. So, the good thing about the fights tonight is, you know, also you got Josh Kelly taking on David Arvizian as well in his 11th pro fight. The great thing about that is that, you know, we're going to get that Brunner card out the way. Shit going to be probably done by 11. And by the time it's done by, I'm talking about Eastern Standard Time, by 11, I think Miguel Burchett and uh, Oscar Valdez should be going to the ring at 11.30. But I don't think Bob Arum... It's going to look to screw uh, Miguel Burchett at all, you know. And we look at that fight, and we talked about yesterday. It's a chance for Oscar Valdez, but he lacking in what? five Almost five inches in reach of disadvantage. He lacking with height, two inches of height disadvantage. And Miguel Burchett, you know, you would think Miguel Burchett, the way these dudes uh, uh, slobber over or slob over O, you would think Miguel Burchett was the fighter that had the O, but he lost by knockout already. So and he lost that 126 by knockout, but... It's going to be interesting. I'll be pulling for Valdez, but I think like most conventional wisdom tell us that Miguel Burchett is going to put the smack of down on Valdez's Rudy Poole. But, you know, I don't think Bob is going to take it from, from Miguel. You know, and then also think about it this way. Oscar Valdez, you know, he didn't want to first Chris Stevenson at 126. People forget he vacated his belt at 126. And somebody also mentioned that. When uh they December day for Valdez and the Miguel Burchett, you know, when Burchett, you know, got COVID or whatever happened with him or injury, they said the Oscar Valdez duck Shakir Stevenson for the uh, immediate to fill in that date. And the thing about that was 
Oscar Valdez was going to give up a title shot. You know, think about it. If I give up a title shot to fight Shakira, why should why didn't I just keep my 126 pound belt and fight Shakira at 26? It made no sense. You know, had Shakira had the WBO or another belt, then that, that would have made a lot of sense. That didn't make no sense for me, Doug Shakira, or give up my belt at 26, move up, fight Miguel Burchett for his WBC, and then he get injured or whatever happened with him, and then fight Shakira for, for nothing, for no belt, for for cheaper price. He right, it didn't make no sense. But, you know, Bob said that Miguel Burchett wants Shakira Stevenson next. That's going to be a real interesting fight. Some people pick Burchett like Battle Rifle. I'm going to side with, with uh, Shakur, but Shakur is going to have to fight. If, if he fight at, if he fight Miguel Pacheco game, he got to fight at Pacheco pace. But Shakur seem he seems to control the pace, and you know Miguel Pacheco, I believe when I see it because he didn't want to fight Jamil Heron at all. So why would you, if you don't want to fight Jamil Heron, then why would you want to fight Miguel fight Shakur Stevenson? You know, but that's a good fight. You know, Pacheco good balance, good speed. You know, he'll overwhelm you, but with Shakur, he, you know he saw he seemed to be like a young. Master Jedi counterpunch. If Shakira can counterpunch and, and make Miguel Burchett follow him around the ring, he'd probably pick Burchett to fall apart. But if he get into a power or slugfest with Burchett, that's Burchett game. But I think Shakira is bigger than Burchett too. So he, he didn't feel it in the 130 pretty quick. You know, you know, Shakira could have started off at 35, you know, with you know the rest of them like Tiffany Lopez. But that's that's gonna be a solid fight. And that's gonna be a great fight for free. But I just don't see why Burchett want to make that fight. Bobby lying. Why not fight Jamil Heron and unify with him for the WBO? And then you think about it. You know, is Shakira going to wait for Frampton and Heron and fight the winner in, you know, July? And, you know, Burchett take a, a voluntary fight and they're going to come back in November, December and fight for a unification bout? You know, are they going to buy the winner of Kenichi Aguawa and the dude that Jojo Diaz fought? I mean, this division ain't hard to unify. I don't know who in the year it is with Tank holding the WBA, but if Tank move up, they can get that belt. But that that's a good fight, man. That that is solidified Shakir. You know, some people saying Shakir not that good. You know, Devin Haney better, T.O. better. I remember Buddy McGurf said T.O. will knock Shakir out, and Shakir took offense to it and went off on him on Twitter and all that stuff. But this is solidified. This is solidified uh, Shakir, a big chat fight. But but check got to got to win tonight. You know. And that's a free ESPN fight. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe uh, Burchett just didn't like the experience and the height and the length of, of Jamil. And he just see the lack of inexperience in, uh, in Shakur. And I don't think Shakur got them longer arms neither. Shakur's arms might be like 68 inches too. So that's going to be an interesting fight. And then I think in that fight, you gonna see, you might see Shakur get hit for real. You know, a lot of guys, you know, remember Broner. You know, Broner had really not got hit for real until he fought Marcos Madonna. That's another thing that you mark off with a prospect. Or a young fighter, which he, he was a young champion already. Can they take it on the chops? Can they take it on the chops? That's that's like one of the the, the, the over overlook you know attributes. Because some of these fighters then got hit on the chops and they ain't reacted well. Remember Fernando? What was his name? Fernando Guerrero, whatever his name. He got hit on the chops. Good amateur, you know. Broner couldn't take Madonna punishment. That's like one of the big things when you moving up to a weight class. Can you take the shot? And once Shakira get up to like 140, 135, we gonna see. You know, his durability there. But, you know, Bob make Miguel Burchett and Shakira Stevenson, he ain't bullshitting around. That's a great fight. But what's stopping Burchett from going, you know, going somewhere else, though? But ain't too many places to go. He go to the zone. You know, if he going to fight the Kenichi Ogawa and the Mermanovich winner, he go to Al Heyman. Who he going to fight? You know, when they put him in the ring with Tank, I don't know. So I think he, I think he had the best plus place he can be. He can fight Shakira. And if he can ever get the WBO, they can unify. That'd be a good fight. That'd be a good fight. But, you know, I see it when I believe it. Because Burchett, you know, I don't defeat. No, 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 Jamil Hearing. No, no, no. I'm like, why? You know, now we need to start to see some of these divisions become unified a little bit. But that's a good fight. And if, if Shakira can take the punishment um, or take the shot or he can dominate Burchett, that's going to be an interesting fight. But. First of all, Burchett got to win tonight. And what if Oscar Valdez win? You know, some miracle way most people think. You know, if Valdez going to duck Shakira twice? I don't know. You know, I want to fight Miguel Burchett. All right. So, hopefully in for a great fight tonight. Um, other than that, um, let me know what you guys think about, you know, Bob Aram saying that Burchett is on a fight-by-fight -fight deal. 
Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out in the business in a reach out anytime if you have a business question, require response, your video request, all my social media links in the description. Uh wanna fight, wanna uh join our Facebook group, excuse me. Uh that link's there as well too. And let me know what you think about who you got Oscar Valdez for chat tonight, what you think about Brachet and Shakir Stevenson. Wanna make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description as well. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. We gone.